Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. On my channel you will find all things motherhood, cleaning, cooking, and so much more. I am Jasmine and this is my journey. So today's video, we are going to be doing another cook with me video where I made a roast with some carrots and potatoes. But of course, we have to start in a clean kitchen, so you guys will see me clean the kitchen first. Now that the kitchen is nice and clean, we're gonna clean our meat. We're gonna start by soaking it in some water and vinegar. I made a bed of vegetables to go underneath the roast and I started with olive oil and then some fajita mix that I got from Walmart because I didn't feel like chopping the vegetables. Also going to add some mushrooms to the fajita mix because I like mushrooms. Nobody else does so I only added a little bit and yes I did wash them off first. We're also adding in some minced garlic. I'm now going to start prepping my carrots and potatoes. I'm going to use the baby carrots whole, but the small potatoes, I'm going to cut them all in half. We're gonna now wash off those carrots and potatoes before we add them into our pan. I'm gonna season the vegetables a little bit with some adobo seasoning. Feels like it lasts forever. And then I'm going to add in some bay leaves. Show me what this love 
Using the same pan that already had the seasonings from the vegetables, I'm going to go ahead and brown both sides of the roast before I place it in the pan to be put in the oven. And I'm going to season it as well. We're using some crushed black pepper as well as some thyme leaves. Now we're going to go ahead and add in some basil leaves. Now we're going to add in some Mrs. Dash, Aldi's version of course. Now we're going to put in some Worcestershire sauce. Now I'm adding in some Dale seasoning, the reduced sodium blend. Tastes the same to me. Once I have it to the desired amount of brownness, I'm going to go ahead and flip and season the other side the same way. Now to add the roast to the veggie party. And now that I've added the potatoes and carrots, I'm going to also do some olive oil, some salt, and some Mrs. Dash. Come show me what this love is for. What you waiting for?
now we're making some good old Jiffy. We're just gonna add some butter and some honey to the regular Jiffy mix and pop that in the oven. Whenever you're making cornbread, whether it be jiffy or homemade, you want to make sure that your pot or pan that you're putting it in has been sprayed with non-stick spray so that it doesn't stick. When I put the jiffy in the oven, I did put the roast back in there just to make sure it was cooked all the way through. But here you go, the finished product. Look how juicy and the perfect color. This meal was delicious. Thanks guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Love you. Bye.